Hey loves, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you are new here. Today I'm going to be doing an end of summer, early autumn haul. I've got some really gorgeous bits here that I'm so excited to show you. Honestly, there is so much stuff here, so much stuff, and it is all absolutely incredible. I love every single thing that I have got. I know that you're going to love every single thing that I've got. Honestly, if you want to dress like this this autumn, then I have got you covered with these gorgeous bits here. Everything I'm showing will be linked in the description in the order that I show it. And for reference, I am an extra small UK 6, US 02, and I'm 5 foot 7. So hopefully that helps if you want a reference from me. Oh my god, I'm just so excited, so let's get into it. Before we get into the video, I just want to mention that I am giving away two £100 Zara gift cards on my Instagram to enter. The link will be in the description to the post where I'm doing the giveaway. Good luck to everybody that's entering. I thought I would mention it, but let's get back to the video. So there is a mixture of brands here, but let's start with this cardigan that you guys have definitely seen on my Instagram. This cardigan is from Vita Grace. I absolutely love it. It is the perfect cozy knitted cardigan like this is absolutely stunning i am obsessed with this cardigan it is so thick and chunky and slouchy you know those cardigans that just sit perfectly and the sleeves kind of roll up and it just like lays nicely that is this cardigan i am obsessed i cannot get enough of this it is so stunning the quality is incredible this is my first ever purchase from vita grace and honestly i am so so impressed i love it so much i told one of my friends that this cardigan was 800 pounds and they were like oh my god you can really tell like you can tell by the quality you would expect it to be that much and it was actually like 95 or something like that and i was like got you and this does look really expensive i wanted to see if they agreed with me and they definitely did i love this so much this is going to be worn so much this autumn and winter for me next up is this gorgeous chunky knit from h&m i love the color of this and like this really beautiful soft dovey gray shade i absolutely love it i think there's such a beautiful shade of gray i don't really have any gray in my wardrobe i feel like it can be quite a cold color but this is just beautiful it's so soft Oh, it just looks lovely. This is maybe cashmere and wool. Um, it was more expensive for H&M. I think it was like a hundred and something, maybe 99 or a hundred, something like that. It was a little bit more expensive for H&M, but honestly, the quality is beautiful. I love these big sleeves as well. And I feel like a chunky knit like this, you can't really go wrong. It just looks stunning. I've got an outfit planned out that I saw on Rosie Huntington Whiteley that I want to recreate. And it looks like it's going to do the trick perfectly. So I have stupidly forgotten one of the pairs of jeans that I wanted to show you. I got the same jeans in black and blue and honestly I love these jeans. You guys know that I rave about the mango mom jeans but I wanted to get something a little bit more structured with a little bit more shape that kind of held the shape that they are. So I, so I decided to go for the Levi 501 jeans. So I got them in this beautiful blue colour and I also got them in a black as well which I will show you on screen. I love them both so much. They are so flattering. As soon as I tried them on I was like I am obsessed. I wish I had bought these sooner. If you're looking for a nice pair of mom jeans that still look classy and kind of put together, I feel like these really, really do the job. I feel like a lot of mom jeans can kind of look very casual and a bit baggy and a bit slouchy. And that isn't what I wanted when I was looking for a new pair. I wanted something that kind of held its structure. And I looked at like redone jeans, A Goldie jeans. And honestly, I just don't think I want to spend like £400 in a pair of jeans. I'd rather like put it towards a new bag or a new pair of shoes. I don't think that's what I want to spend... £400 on, you know what I mean? I'd rather put it towards a new bag. I really want a Chanel bag, so I would rather put it into savings for that. Um, but yeah, I really love these jeans. I think they're so lovely, really, really flattering. They are a button front as well, which I was kind of like about, because like when you want to have a wee in that, but honestly, you get them undone really quickly and done up again really quickly. And I got these in a 24 waist and a 30 inch leg, and they fit perfectly. One thing I will say, is the black ones are probably an inch or two small around the waist they still fit me but they're definitely more snug than these are i think when the fabric has been dyed it has shrunk the denim so if you are buying them i would say size up in the darker wash and i've seen a few people say that but i've seen it firsthand for myself now the black ones are literally like that much um smaller around the waist than these are and they both say that they're a 24 waist so just keep that in mind definitely size down with the dark denim but i just love these so much i think they're so nice i know i'm gonna get so much more out of them next i have a few bits from zara this being the first one i've seen this dress on so many people and honestly when i see things worn over and over again it kind of puts me off 
but I feel like this is the perfect like summer dress, especially late summer. I love the length of it. I love the frills at the bottom. You guys know me, I'm a sucker for frills. And I love the fact that this is stretchy up here and it's got little frills on the sleeve as well. This was $49.99 and honestly, I feel like it's one of those pieces that are never really going to go out of style. You can pull this out of your wardrobe every single year and re-wear it. And I feel like you can't go wrong with a maxi dress, especially when you're bloated. <laughs> I've said this in like so many videos now, but I'm allergic to bread and dairy. So gluten and dairy I'm allergic to so I'm constantly bloated because I keep eating it because cheese and bread is just too good not to eat And then end up being really bloated and uncomfortable So I love dresses like this where I know I can wear it and you're not gonna see what's going on underneath It's like I could actually be pregnant and you wouldn't even know I love dresses like this So I feel like this is gonna get so much wear in my wardrobe I'm going to Barcelona soon and I feel like this is gonna be worn so many times while I'm there Next up I've got this satin shirt that is in a desperate need of a steam or an iron because it's so crinkly i literally just took it out of the package um i got this in a size small because i wanted it to be a little bit more oversized not like a fitted shirt just to kind of be like a relaxed loose fit i really love the look of this i think this with just some like blue denim jeans and some cute shoes gonna look absolutely stunning without having to put too much effort in kind of like jeans and a nice top vibe which is what i'm going for with this i love these satin shirts from zara i've got them in a few different colors and they get worn so often the quality is really really nice wash it on a cold wash because if you wash it on a hot wash you will ruin these but i absolutely love this shirt i think it's so nice and i love these big like what are they called lapels is that what they're called maybe or is it just a collar are these called lapels? no they're lapels aren't they like the things just a collar i like the collar whatever that's called i like it next up this is kind of out of my comfort zone which is weird because it's just a tiny top this was only 8.99 i got it in a size small they only go down to a small in this and it's just a little bandeau top i bought this for a specific reason um and to go with a specific item so i'm hoping that this outfit looks nice in my head i've got a satin midi skirt that i'm going to show you in a minute that i thought this would look really nice just that with like a satin midi skirt and maybe some converse it's like a kind of dressy but still casual outfit when it's really hot i feel like tops like this really come in handy because you don't want things like all over you everywhere like sleeves and everything coming up around your neck i feel like this is just perfect for hot weather and again i'm going to barcelona i thought that this could be a good item and again something that you'll pull out of your wardrobe every single year it's just a basic little black top this little like knitted top reminds me so much of a top that i had a year it looks like a child's a piece of child's clothing i think it's the little arms um but this reminds me of a top that i had years ago and i love it this is in a size small and it was 19.99 really lovely stretchy material i love the shade of blue it's very like nautical blue with the white stripes and i just thought this with like a little pair of white mom jeans or a white skirt or white shorts could just look absolutely stunning and i feel like you could wear this into the autumn time as well for those warmer days i feel like it's definitely got a bit of a summery vibe to it so i feel like this with like some white jeans could just look really cute as like a transitional outfit really love this really nice quality i love the neckline of it as well i just know that i'm going to watch this back and be kicking myself because of the noise outside but honestly it's too hot i can't shut these doors i just can't get myself to do it because i'm like melting in here the next piece that I got from Zara is this cute little like baby crop top thing. I'm sure you guys have seen these everywhere. This is just the like cream and blue striped one. It was $17.99. I got it in a size small. I just think this is again really, really cute, really easy to wear. Pop this on with a pair of jeans or a skirt or shorts, pop a blazer over the top. I feel like it's just a staple to have in the wardrobe. I love the little like baby sleeves. I think they are so cute. Like the little like cap sleeves. I think they're adorable. Love the look of them. Really nice quality, really stretchy. I just think this is a nice piece to have in your wardrobe for when you don't really know what to wear. Pop this on with a pair of jeans and you're kind of sorted. Really easy. This is my first ever purchase from Arkit. Never purchased from the brand before and this was, oh there's no price tag on it um i'm gonna say that this was about 50 pounds the quality of it is absolutely beautiful it's got a zipper up the back it's very structured it's a lovely like material feels very well made and i love the kind of like detailing of the stitching it looks a little bit more like tailored sophisticated um i'm hoping that this fits me i haven't tried it on yet i've never purchased from the brand before i think i got this in a size six that's what I usually get, so I'll see how it fits on, but I just love the look of this. I think this is really nice. One thing that I am actually missing from my wardrobe is a white skirt. I don't have any plain white skirts, and I feel like that is something that I would really wear with, like, 
either knee-high boots in the autumn or in the summer with like sandals so i feel like this is definitely a transitional piece because i feel like this with like white or cream knee-high boots and then like a creamy jumper would look really really lovely as like a really neutral outfit but then in the summer you could wear it with sandals and i think that would look stunning as well so i thought i would pick it up try it and my first ever purchase from arket so hopefully i like it next up i bought two shirts from charles triwitt i think that's how you say the name i saw a woman on instagram wearing shirts from this brand this is a men's shirt brand it's like literally for men um i went in there and asked if i could try some shirts on and they looked so confused by the fact that i wanted to wear their clothes they were like uh yeah they didn't get it at all but i decided to get myself a blue striped shirt and a white shirt because i feel like for some reason i just don't like the fit of women's shirts in a lot of places like i go into zara h&m mango i get women's shirts and the fit is never quite right and i started buying men's shirts from zara and the fit was just so much better so i thought why not invest in some really nice quality shirts that i'm just going to wear over and over again because obviously a white shirt and a blue striped shirt these are pieces in my wardrobe that get worn so frequently in so many different ways like lounging around the house over the top of a bikini with jeans with skirts with shorts I wear these so often they're definitely like staples in my wardrobe so I thought why not get some good quality ones I got these in the smallest size that they stock in the slim fit they honestly fit really really nicely they're not super boxy or anything like that they just fit exactly how I want my shirts to fit I'm really impressed with these next up we are on to mango first is this dress that I am so excited about I'm hoping that this fits me because mango is sometimes a funny one for me their sizes can really differ on me for some reason I got it in an extra small and it is this beautiful linen dress I don't know if you can see but there is like some ruching going on down the side here really really cute I think this is going to be really flattering if it fits nicely I love the details at the top as well and again I'm going on holiday and i thought that this dress is just going to be absolutely stunning and again one of those pieces that you can wear every single year so i know that we are coming into autumn but even if you bought this and wore it twice this year i'm sure you would get a lot of wear out of it next year i decided to get it because i didn't want it to go out of stock and miss getting my hands on it because it's just so beautiful i really really love this i think it's gonna be so stunning either dressed up or down and i cannot wait to try this on and see what i think Next up, I got this really beautiful houndstooth skirt. This is making my camera go a little bit funny. I can see it already in the viewfinder. I love the look of this. I'm crossing my fingers that it fits because I've mentioned before that most of the time a skirt will fit around the waist but not fit my bum. I have the hardest time with skirts. I'm sure loads of you guys can relate to this but it's just so difficult finding something that fits around your tummy and also around your bum. It either fits my bum and is massive around my waist or it fits my waist and I literally can't sit down in it um which isn't ideal really but hopefully this fits because i really like the look of it i'm kind of picturing this with like some cream knee-high boots um i found some actually that i'm considering buying i need you guys to let me know what you think i'll put a picture right here what do you think of these boots they're on sale right now and i don't know whether to get them i like them but i don't know how often i'd wear them what do you guys think should i get them or not but i'm picturing like those boots with this with like a cream jumper and like a neutral colored coat i'm not 100 percent sure what color yet but neutral and i'm thinking that this is going to be like the most stunning autumn outfit ever so let me know what you think about the boots i think this skirt is just gorgeous to wear with tights and black boots the lot honestly i think you get so much wear out of this i know i will as long as it fits me but i really really like this and the quality is so nice as well it's like a really thick uh, material i don't know what this is made out of actually and then do you remember that bandeau top i was telling you about this is the skirt i want it to go with so it is just a really simple black midi skirt this does not need explaining to you i'm sure you've seen these literally everywhere but i don't have one in my wardrobe i never have so i decided that this year is the year that i take the plunge and buy one i can honestly just picture this in so many different ways with the little bandeau top that i showed you with jumpers with like knee high boots underneath in the winter I don't know why I've never bought one before, but I feel like it was finally time to do it. If you don't have one of these in your wardrobe, what are you doing? You need one. <laughs> That's literally what I was thinking to myself when I bought this. You guys definitely need to make the purchase and get one of these silk skirts because they just come back around every single year and they look so effortlessly stunning. Like they really do. They just look gorgeous without having to try too hard. I love them. Next up from Abercrombie. I always love every single thing that I get from Abercrombie. I'm always so impressed with it. I got this beautiful little trapeze dress. I had to get this in an extra, extra small and I was like, 
is this gonna fit me because i'm definitely not an extra extra small um so i was like Ugh, when i bought it but it was the only size that they had left and honestly this is so stretchy i feel like you could either go up or down like one or two sizes because it's so so stretchy like you would like there's so much stretch in this it will fit you it's fine it's fine i honestly love this i think this is just a perfect summer dress i love it i love how strappy it is it's kind of like barely there you know what i mean like just very simple, very easy, very elegant. I think this is like some gorgeous little like strappy sandals or even some flat sandals. It's just gonna look stunning. I love it. It's like a linen-y material as well. It's very lightweight. I wanted something that was gonna be lightweight, flowy, easy breezy, easy to wear, easy to just chuck on. Again, you don't have to worry about bloaster or anything like that. And I just think this is just such a beautiful dress. I'm absolutely in love with this. I know I'm gonna get so much wear out of it, not only this year, but the year after and the year after that as well. Now onto some bits that I got from River Island. So firstly is actually the dress that I'm wearing right now. This reminds me so much of the pretty woman dress that she wears to go to the races. Don't you think it reminds you of that? Like it looks so much like it, the same tone of brown with the polka dots. I love this dress so much. I think it's just so gorgeous. Pop it on with some sandals. It's very flowy, easy breezy, easy to wear. I love it so much. And I love the fact that it reminds me of Pretty Woman because that is one of my favorite films ever. The next piece that I got is a little bodysuit. So I got this in a size six, it was 26 pounds and it's got shoulder pads in it, which I think is so much fun. It's literally got built in shoulder pads into the bodysuit and I think that is so handy. I love bodysuits because they just look so much more seamless than like a tucked in t-shirt. I'm sure you guys will agree with me there. I feel like it just lays flatter and looks more seamless and more, you know, sleek. I feel like the shoulder pads are just so subtle, but they make everything look a little bit more sleek. I don't know, it's just like the most simple touch ever, but I just absolutely love them. So I'm so excited to wear this. I might get it in a few different colors as well. This skirt I am so excited about. I got it in a size six. I think it was 30 pounds. I love the color of this. Again, it is a silk midi skirt. I've gone from owning none to owning two, but I love the color of this so much. It's like a beautiful champagne-y color. Oh my God, it's just stunning. There's like a horse in the field opposite me, so it's distracting me. Oops, I, I love this so much it's got slits up the leg as well I have got the perfect outfit pictured in my head for this skirt and I cannot wait to put it together you know when something looks so gorgeous in your head and you worry that you're going to put it on it looks horrendous that is me with this outfit because I have built it up so much that I'm like yes I'm going to look stunning like fashion icon I'm probably going to look like a moose but we will see we will see I love this skirt so much I think it's so beautiful isn't that just like oh, so gorgeous the shimmer on it oh, I love it die for this dress lou hates she really hates this dress but i really really like it i think it is so cute it does kind of look like a nighty but also the vibes right pinterest girl vibes you with me the girls watching this video will know exactly what i'm all about i love the sleeves sleeves like this honestly warm my heart like they warm my heart they're just so beautiful I love the back detail, all of these little ties at the back, almost like a corset. It's just so cute. I'm so excited to try this on. I hope it looks lovely because honestly, in my head, it looks stunning. I've got very, very high hopes for this dress. I'm be so disappointed if it looks bad. I love the lace as well. It looks like aged, like they knew what they were doing with this dress. It looks like aged lace. I just think this is going to be absolutely stunning and I cannot wait to wear this. If you were going to Paris this autumn please buy this and take photos because you're going to look beautiful in it tag me in the photos please i need to see and the last item that i got from river island is this cardigan which again i'm so excited to wear river island always kill the knitwear i have got so many pieces of knitwear from river island and they just are insane quality like for the price this was 35 pounds like are you kidding me like for this beautiful quality cardigan like all of their knitwear is insane if you're looking for new knitwear go to river island because the quality is just unmatched for the prices it doesn't go bobbly after you wash it i've got so many pieces that have been worn over and over again and washed over and over again and they're just stunning quality can't recommend it enough i loved the details on this cardigan i love the black buttons as well i feel like it makes it look very classy this is giving me like kind of coastal grandmother like actually you know what it's giving me it's giving me a woman that lives in paris called matilda with like a bob black haircut that smokes like 10 fags a day but in a really classy way that is what this cardigan is giving me love it so much i think this with like a mini skirt and some shoes that i'm just about to show you oh this isn't the last bit from river island i've got shoes from there as well but i feel like this with a mini skirt and the shoes i'm about to show you is going to be absolutely stunning or this with like this bodysuit underneath and that over the top with like some black mom jeans or black like straight leg jeans fashion icon 
you're gonna kind of love these or you're gonna hate these these are so 90s my mom had a pair of these when i was a kid literally probably the exact same they're like square fronted shoes with a block heel my mom had literally these exact shoes when i was a kid in the 90s honestly love so gorgeous i love the little strap as well i think these with like i honestly think these shoes with that mini skirt and that cardigan is a vibe love i just think these are so cute i'm definitely gonna wear these more with um like skirts and dresses over jeans i don't think i would ever style these with jeans never say never but i can't see myself doing it but this with like some tights and skirts and dresses so cute love and then i also got these super chunky boots these are so chunky like they are massive the heel on these the, you know what the heel isn't even that high but they're just so chunky they're kind of like platform boots as well i haven't worn them yet but i feel like they're gonna be really easy to wear because they're just like platform and chunky i love them so much honestly i feel like these are gonna be so in style this year i get lots of questions and comments about my chloe boots and i know that they're not in the price range for everyone and a lot of people wouldn't buy them because they feel like they wouldn't wear them enough to justify the price as well which i totally get i totally get that i thought the same thing before i bought them and i honestly haven't worn them enough to justify the price but i feel like these are kind of similar in a way i feel like you get similar vibes from them so if you really love the chloe boots but they're not in your budget or you feel like you wouldn't wear them enough so you don't want to spend that much money get these instead because i feel like they're they're not dupes but you get a similar vibe from them so that is everything i have to show you guys i hope you loved every single thing that i showed you i am honestly so excited about every single piece from this haul i feel like i've kind of made a capsule autumn wardrobe all you need to go with these items are a white blazer a brown blazer and a black blazer and you're good to go like honestly all of these pieces are so interchangeable with one another i feel like you can make a million different outfits so i really hope you guys enjoyed this video again everything i showed you will be linked in the description box i hope you found some new bits honestly i'm in love with all of these i usually send like a lot of stuff back from my hauls i don't think i'm sending anything back because it is all so good i couldn't bear to part with it but yeah, I hope you guys love this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you don't follow me on TikTok and Instagram already, I would really, 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 really appreciate it. Thanks, babes. Love you. Love you. Honestly, thanks guys so much for watching and I will see you soon with a new one. Bye.